Now, some substances stop enzymes from working, and these are called enzyme inhibitors. They could be reversible or irreversible, okay? But ones we're gonna look at are reversible inhibitors. And there are two types of reversible inhibitor, competitive and non-competitive. Now, they are useful because they can be used to control reactions. But once removed, the reaction then returns to normal. So it's really helpful for cells to be able to switch reactions on and off, essentially. In competitive inhibitors, the inhibitor molecule is a similar shape to the substrate and it blocks the active site. So they are both competing for the same active site. That's why it's called competitive inhibition. Non-competitive inhibitors actually bind to a different site altogether, okay? Uh, not the active site. They leave the active site open, but when they bind to the enzyme in the other site, they change the shape of the active site. Uh, and so the, end, uh, the substrate can't bind anymore. Okay, so they have more of a significant effect, non-competitive inhibitors. Now, sometimes you want a reaction to happen, but you want to regulate it. Now, this is called end product inhibition. It's a really clever way of self-regulating a reaction. There's a great example with ATP and respiration. If you've got loads of ATP, then you don't need to do much respiration anymore. If you haven't got very much, then you need your rate of respiration to an increase. There is an enzyme called phosphofructokinase, or PFK, which controls the rate of respiration. ATP is a non-competitive inhibitor of PFK, so it binds to another site on the PFK enzyme. So when ATP is low, not much is bound to PFK, and PFK works really fast and you make more ATP. When you get lots of ATP, that will then bind more to the PFK, inhibit the PFK, and the rate will slow down again. Suddenly you start running out of ATP, then it's not gonna inhibit the PFK so much anymore, and the reaction speeds up again, and you start getting more respiration. So it's a really nice way of self-regulating a reaction, end product inhibition.